Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive game. This is the game between Fossmeyer and Lenz that was played in Austria in 1990. Opening is Dutch defense, Leningrad variation. White started with d4, f5, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, g6, Leningrad Dutch. But now, Instead of c4, which is a very common move, white played c3. Why? Well, the idea is to bring queen to b3 and prevent black from castling. Black played bishop to g7, queen to b3, and if you are not a Dutch player, you would think, well, black can play e6 and castle, but this is not how you play Leningrad Dutch. You want to play d6 and e5. If you manage to play e5 at the right time, you are doing well. Okay, so no e6, but c6. Knight to h3, not to obstruct the bishop. Queen to b6, white castled, d6 to support e5 pawn push. Knight to d2, Knight to a6, Knight to f4, and now in this position, black captured white queen. And if you have white pieces now, would you capture with the pawn or with the knight? Well, if you capture with the knight, then you preserve nice pawn structure and plus you open the way for the bishop to come into the game. But this is the first surprise. A takes b3. And now rook on a1 is in the game. And this is now a very important part of the game. Like I said, it, the rule says if you play e5 at the right time, you are doing well in the opening. The best move in this position would be to castle. But you can understand that white played e5, he thought that this is the best moment because he is also attacking knight on f4. But there is a problem with black's position. There is a tactic in this position which white can use to achieve huge advantage. If you wish, you can pause the video and try to find the killer move that white played. Okay, have you found, found this move? Rook takes on a6 and black was in shock. He didn't expect this one. So if he takes the rook, then bishop takes on c6, bishop to d7, and white is winning the rook. So it's out of question. He captured the knight, and then, second surprise, rook takes on c6. Well again, if pawn takes, bishop takes on c6, we check, bishop to d7, bishop takes on a8, and white is winning. So after rook captured on c6, black decided to plug the hole, knight to e4, now rook to c7 attacking the bishop, black castled, and after white captured on e4, black resigned. Is it prematurely? Well, I think that black was in shock first after rook captured on a6, and then rook captured on c6. So in this position, he resigned. But let's have a look. What would happen if game continued? So this would be the obvious continuation. Pawn takes knight. And now not bishop takes on e4, but bishop takes on f4. d5, protecting the pawn on e4, attacking the pawn on e4. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes on f3, and now if pawn on d5 is lost, then black is totally lost. He is lost anyway. Well then, bishop to e6 is logical continuation. Rook takes on b7, rook to f7, rook takes rook, king takes rook, and now very interesting bishop to e5. And if bishop takes bishop, then very nice tactic. Bishop takes on d5. This is 
discovered check and after king to e7 white wins the rook so it looks like that at move 14 black has done made a right decision he resigned thank you for watching this video and i hope that you enjoyed it